Hello again, Steve Smith here from Manny Golf School. A um, little bit of light relief um, in some pretty testing times. This is episode two of the coronavirus um, isolation lockdown series. Hopefully it's not going to be a particularly long series, but uh, at this point in time, who knows, could last ages. Right now, quick tip, um, might help you with your putting if you're managing to practice a little bit indoors and at home. Key tip that I've picked up over the years that um, really gives some continuity and some consistency to your putting stroke and should last you theoretically a lifetime. So this is a little something that I call keeping your heart in the right place. If you're watching somebody putt, me for example, and you thought to yourself, okay, that looks like the kind of thing that I want to be doing. They look like they're putting pretty well. Which one of these two strokes would you pick? If I show you two examples of a putting stroke, which one would you choose? First one. Or the second one. Pretty obvious, huh? The second one resonates. And the reason it resonates so much is because I'm basically replicating a swing in its truest sense, something that has a fixed point. I mean, we officially have no fixed points, but if you entertain the idea that your heart, which I know biomechanically isn't exactly in the middle of your chest, but let's pretend for the sake of this example that it is, if it's in the center of your chest and you keep it occupying that space while you're moving, then when you deliver a stroke, you're gonna get a very simple, very repeatable, and very reliable putting stroke. You can see that I've set up a scenario on the deck where I've got to deliver this uh, putt pretty straight, um, putting into a cup which uh, can easily be uh, sourced from home. Um, in this case, North London's finest, obviously, who else? The chipping part uh, stole the door mount once again and uh, created myself a little uh, amen corner. Obviously, normally we'd be watching the Masters this weekend, so this is, is uh, my little homage to that. Tricky, really. Um, Got to get the ball to land in the barbecue, which uh, I've used some of that wood chip that I used in the uh, first video as ballast. Um, comes in handy, surprisingly so, in golf course design. Uh, Harry Shaplin Colt and Pete Dye, eat your heart out. Here goes nothing. So I'm going to set a golf ball down just slightly forwards of this yellow line, which my heart, if you like, is directly above the center of. So the lowest point of my swing is going to occur on that yellow line. I'm going to put the ball slightly forward at that point, and my intention is now to just deliver a stroke and making sure I keep a massive emphasis on keeping my heart in the same place. Now it's also really worth remembering that this concept, uh, keeping your heart in the right place, will really work well uh, for your chipping. If you think about the delivery of your sand wedge, your wedge, whichever is your chipping club, um, if you deliver it in exactly the same way as your putter, you know, the loft that some very lazy golfer invented to get the ball into the air, uh, a putter has a straight face. When you deliver it, it rolls the ball. Add some loft, deliver it in exactly the same way, don't change a thing, just keep your heart in the same place. Then you're going to find that central point in your swing creates a swing and a pattern and a stroke which is exactly the same as your putting. You don't miss hit your putts all that often, maybe one in a thousand times you miss hit a putter horribly. Think of how many times you miss hit a chip. What you're trying to add complexity to the task for. Why are you trying to make it more complicated? Deliver the sand wedge in exactly the same way you do your putter, back and forth from a central point, your heart, and you'll find it will work just fine. So a lot of people add massive emphasis on putting weight onto the left side. And if you think about the way a human being feels where his body weight is, if your left foot is pressing into the ground, that means your weight is on your left side. My heart now is much more above my left foot. Now if I keep that sensation of my left foot pressing into the ground, I've effectively achieved a situation where my, the center of my body, my heart if you like, the center of my swing, stays in the same place the whole time. If I move and I take that pressure off my left foot, and I can feel it now on my right foot, stands to reason this is gonna move. And correspondingly, you'll see my, the movement in my head and that's often characterized as a sway. You can achieve the same thing by having your weight evenly distributed, if that's what you prefer. If it doesn't add complexity to it, certainly that's uh, you know something that you'll follow when you're putting. Keeping your heart in the same place, okay? Keeping your left shoulder 
and the club, your hands moving at the same RPM. Put simply then, you putt as you chip, you chip as you putt. Make sure that club is working along the ground, your heart staying in the same place. And oh yes, Corona Warriors, always remember, stay safe. Now that, my friends, is what you might call a barbecue. So, um, mucking about with your putting and your chipping is all well and good. But when all's said and done, I'd like to give a big heartfelt shout out to all the NHS health workers who are doing such an amazing job uh, looking after all the people who are succumbing to this terrible pandemic at the moment. Um, much love to everybody out there and stay safe and keep well.